I always like to say I was very much a failed quant. And so to see them succeeding, it's been a while. It's been a rough couple of years. What's driving the quant complex back? Yeah, so last year was actually a pretty tough one. And this February, they're having the second best month uh, on record for many of those big names we mentioned. We mentioned AQR, we mentioned Dunn Capital, we mentioned Mulvaney. Uh, it's uh, a big part is equities. The game in equities has been momentum. So those quants who actually chase trains, they don't really care about fundamentals. They care only about the price. They've been doing amazingly well. And then in commodities, there have been a lot of more niche markets uh, like sugar or just uh, soybeans that have been doing very, uh, that have had very specific trends. So following them has been a really big driver of the returns as well. Well, it's interesting. You wrote that AQR had its second best month on record in February for at least three trend following strategies. But what about the others? Talk about Mulvaney and some of these other funds for a moment here that uh, may not be as large as AQR. Yeah, they're for sure smaller than AQR. They also had uh, the second best month for each of them, the best month since 2008. So you can imagine it's uh, another period of very high volatility when they managed to succeed. This time for them, actually commodities is a slightly bigger driver uh, than equities. Uh, we saw some of the biggest durations in like 20 years in some of the soft commodities. So riding those trends has been very beneficial for them. Uh, they've had a um, somewhat strong January as well. So some of the gains we're seeing year today is like 30, 45 percent. So really incredible start of the year uh, compared to what we're seeing from all other markets. How do you think about these returns moving forward? Is there something that can throw things off, especially when there's that kind of underlying critique in the market that perhaps it's these CTAs, these trend followers that are exacerbating the market moves in the first place? Yeah, so this is an interesting environment for trend following. People are saying that trend followers are doing very well when stocks are down by a lot and when stocks are up by a lot. So you can argue if this strong momentum trends continue, they can continue to do well. Whether they exacerbate the moves, obviously that's been a big debate. Uh, there, I, I would say it's very divided on Wall Street. Uh, we have seen numerous occasions that Maybe they have had some impact, uh, but more broadly, uh, a lot of the quants are really uh, sh sh shutting that thesis that they are responsible to those big moves. But you can imagine in a small market, like sugar, having a big position there potentially can have some sizable moves. What are you watching next here? If you, if you think about moving forward here, uh, and really quickly in about 30 seconds here, is it the commodity market or the equity market to be watching for these guys? I think commodity market is a very interesting one. It can continue to show uh, big gains because the way those strategies thrive is they need macro uncertainty, inflation uncertainty. So this is a market that we know is very sensitive to that.